Take a breath. Now close your eyes. Slowly inhale. Breathe in positive energy. Breathe out negative thoughts. Take full breaths from your diaphragm. Let it out slowly through your mouth. Empty your lungs completely. First, we'll start with a serenity prayer. Today's reading from the 24 Hours a Day book, a share, then the reading again in case you got distracted. Carpe the diem. Enjoy. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. Consider, do we remember where self-will and self-knowledge got us? April 24th, thought for the day. It's been proved that we alcoholics can't get sober by our own willpower. We failed again and again. Therefore, I believe there must be a higher power, which helps me. I think that the power is the grace of God. And I pray to God every morning for the strength to stay sober today. I know that power is there because it never fails to help me. Do I believe that Alcoholics Anonymous works through the grace of God? Meditation for the day. Once I am born of the Spirit, that is my life's breath. Within me is the life of life, so that I can never perish. The life that down the ages has kept God's children through peril, adversity, and sorrow. I must try never to doubt or worry, but follow where the life of the Spirit leads. How often, when little I know it, God goes before me to prepare the way, to soften a heart, or to overrule a resentment. As the life of the Spirit grows, natural wants become less important. Prayer for the day. I pray that my life may become centered in God more than in self. I pray that my will may be directed towards doing His will. Alcoholics drink for the effect produced. Dr. Silkworth laid it out succinctly in the doctor's opinion at the beginning of the big book. Men and women drink essentially because they like the effect produced by alcohol. The sensation is so elusive that while they admit it is injurious, they cannot, after a time, differentiate the true from the false. To them, the alcoholic life seems the only normal one. They are restless, irritable, and discontented, unless they can again experience the sense of ease and comfort which comes at once by taking a few drinks, drinks which they see others taking with impunity. We have been searching for our higher power the whole time, a power greater than ourselves, with which to place our faith. The drink worked for a while, long enough for us not to notice that we relied on it, absolutely, even when it no longer worked. We still had the misguided belief that it would deliver the feeling of comfort it did in the early days. We did not notice that it had turned traitor on us and was cutting us to ribbons. We put ultimate faith into the bottle. The good news for us blessed recovered alcoholics is that the true power is available to us and all we need to do is surrender and ask for help. He is there to all who earnestly seek. After another jaunt, when we temporarily sober up, we feel remorseful and commit to not drinking again. We are desperate for a replacement and we find it in the rooms of AA. We find a process to experience a psychic change which will remove our obsession. Our spiritual awakening changes our vision. It places our higher power at the center of our lives, and we learn to help others in order to keep it. He is our true protector. Booze was a false idol, to use biblical terms. Our lives as ex-problem drinkers now revolve around staying sober and helping others get and stay sober themselves by passing on the message of recovery. Finding God, cleaning out the wreckage of our past, and helping others is how we get a new life by working all the steps in AA. 
We live the principles of the AA program, the principles of the steps in our daily lives. That is why we say we were reborn, because the design for living we have found is a blessing from above that is more satisfying and exhilarating than our lives run on self-centered chaos. We feel the presence of our Creator, and we want to share it with everybody because we know it works. Consider, do we remember where self-will and self-knowledge got us? April 24th, Thought for the Day. It's been proved that we alcoholics can't get sober by our own willpower. We failed again and again. Therefore, I believe there must be a higher power, which helps me. I think that the power is the grace of God. And I pray to God every morning for the strength to stay sober today. I know that power is there because it never fails to help me. Do I believe that Alcoholics Anonymous works through the grace of God? Meditation for the day. Once I am born of the Spirit, that is my life's breath. Within me is the life of life, so that I can never perish. The life that down the ages has kept God's children through peril, adversity, and sorrow. I must try never to doubt or worry, but follow where the life of the Spirit leads. How often, when little I know it, God goes before me to prepare the way, to soften a heart, or to overrule a resentment. As the life of the Spirit grows, natural wants become less important. Prayer for the day. I pray that my life may become centered in God more than in self. I pray that my will may be directed towards doing His will. Carpe the diem, boys and girls. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.